So it's one thing after another with this government. Instead of fixing the problem, they're continuing to target those on middle and lower incomes. And rather than protecting frontline services, they're actually cutting frontline services. And to be quite frank, that's a complete anathema to my values. And my mandate was to campaign to protect these services, to stand up for the people I represent. And being a member of the Labour Party is no longer something that will assist me in pursuing that campaign. And do you think uh, the, the Labour ministers have, have let the party down? Absolutely, I do. I think the five Labour ministers and cabinet have capitulated to Fine Gael on all the key issues that have come before this government. We've seen child benefit cut, we've seen cut to disability services, we've seen public sector workers being bullied by a Labour minister. And quite frankly, I think those Labour ministers should be ashamed of themselves. And what are your plans now? I'll continue to represent Dublin West as an independent and to be a strong voice for the radical change this country needs in the Dáil. And any, any uh, plans to maybe talk with other like-minded TDs on the left? Well, I always cooperate with people in the Dáil and outside the Dáil about how we can build a better country and how we can campaign on the issues that matter. My door is always open to talk to people, but I'll be representing Dublin West as an independent, which I have been doing in practice for nearly two years now. Will no, you be no plans to join the ULA, for instance? No. Will you be joining the technical group in the Dáil? Well, the technical group have always facilitated me when they can in speaking time as it is. So at the moment I've no plans to join the technical group. But as I said, I will always work with people as I have on different motions and on different particular issues where cooperation is possible. But it's not just about the doll, it's about bringing together civil society, community groups, trade unions, people who are suffering with mortgage arrears, to have a campaign about how we fix the country. Because time and time again, this government is going to the same well, cutting the incomes of those who are who are struggling, imposing very stringent measures on those who are facing insolvency. And quite frankly, it's not working. Even Ashoka Modi, one of the key IMF people who dealt with the Irish bailout, has admitted that they got it wrong when it comes to Ireland. And despite all the spending cuts, net government spending hasn't fallen by a very large degree. And that's because the crisis of unemployment is still with us. And still we have a massive stimulus programme to build social housing and to create jobs, these problems will continue to be a noose around the neck of this country. And so as you my, say, you've been, you've been outside the parliamentary party for near, nearly two years. Um, what was the final straw? As I said, it's something I've been thinking about for some time, but when you see a, a Labour Minister for Education not being able to protect special needs provision in this country, you know, quite frankly, I think a lot of people who voted for the Labour Party in the last election are bitterly disappointed and now is not the time to sit quietly now is the time to stand up and be counted and to say what you think and that's what i have always done and what i intend to continue to do are you going to have members patrick in your branch in dublin west to resign with you or you know are you cutting yourself off from them if they stay in the party several friends and supporters of mine have resigned from the party as well today and i've been very heartened by the support i've received from constituents across dublin west in politics you never get a hundred percent consensus on any issue but I believe that if you stand up for what you believe in and stand up and be counted then you know I think that's what people want in their political representatives. Some might argue that you could have done more inside the party you could have pushed for more change. Well I don't see much change that Labour backbenchers have delivered under this government so far. What I've seen is the rest by care grant cut, what I've seen is child benefit cut, clear pledges that the Labour Party made prior to the last general election that they would protect these core payments for people who need them. So I've seen no evidence of Labour backbenchers influencing, influencing the government. What I have seen is Fine Gael setting the agenda and we need to stand up to that agenda and we need to provide an alternative for people and make sure that there are a voice for citizens in the Dáil and not simply towing the party line no matter what is put before them. And you're out of the party now, Patrick. Uh, do you predict people are saying they could be wiped out at the local and general elections? What's your view on that? Well, listen, that's up to the electorate. I've no personal difficulty with anybody in the Labour Party. I've been a member of the party for many years, and my decision to resign was a difficult one. But as I've said this morning, it pales into insignificance when you think of the difficult decisions that families will be making at the end of every month in this country. So I have seen that two Labour councillors in Wicklow have resigned, and, you know, when the elections are called, people will make up their own minds. But that's a matter for the people.